the king of Assyria went throughout all the land and went up to Samaria and besieged it for three years. In the ninth year of Hoshea, the king of Assyria took Samaria and carried Israel away to Assyria. Oh, welcome, welcome, my friends, to the great palace of the great King Sennacherib. I am the mighty Rabshaka, chief among the princes of this awesome empire, the Assyrian Empire. I hold a place of great honor. I am the cupbearer to the great, the most wonderful, the most amazing King Sennacherib. Look, look around you. Do you see this magnificent court? Ah, uh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that he must be so powerful. And you would be right. There is no one above us. We even have that silly nation, Israel, under us. Such a great accomplishment. I cannot believe it. I heard today there is a revolt in the kingdom of Judah. King Ahaz is dead. And his son Hezekiah has different plans. Reports are saying that he's smashing the idols of Asherah. He is destroying the sacred stones. I mean, I don't want to anger the gods. And I don't think, oh, I don't think he should either. But here goes Ahaz's son. Oh, such a foolish thing. And I'm worried. And I'm, look how far away we are from Israel here in Assyria. And I'm worried. Wow, things are getting really crazy now, my friend. I can't even believe it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the new king, King Hezekiah, is really asking for trouble. Instead of worshiping the gods, he's now turned. And instead is worshiping another god he calls Yahweh. Oh. Get this! He's even now defeating territories with his sword around him. Gaza! Fortified cities! He's a silly fool, that Hezekiah. But a persistent one. I will give him that. Persistence. Ah! Welcome to our court again, my friend. Here, here, have a drink, have a drink. I bet you've been tired from your, your very long travel journey here. Busy times in our kingdom, no? Oh, yes, it has been wild times. Wars all over. I am packing for battle. It's going to be a long standoff. Long time I'm going to be away from the palace. There's going to be no more comfy couches and and palace comforts for me for a while. Oh, but I am sure of one thing. We will bring victory for a mighty Assyrian Empire. That is for sure, my friend. Jerusalem. King Sennacherib commanded it, so I am here. The king has sent a message for me to present on his behalf. I'm going to speak the words of 
our great King King Sennacherib. May I practice it with you? I think I need a run through. The way want to polish the presentation before I give it, okay, okay? Okay. Here we go. This is what the great king, the king of Assyria says. On what are you basing the confidence of yours? You say you have counsel of the mighty war, but you speak only empty words. On whom are you depending that you may rebel against me? Look. I know you are depending on Egypt. They have a splinter reed of a staff. They pierce the hand of anyone who leans on them. And so Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all de that depend on him. But if you say to me, we are depending on the Lord, our God. Isn't he the one whose high places and altars you, Hezekiah, have removed? You said to Judah and Jerusalem, you need to come down and worship before this altar here in Jerusalem. Come now, make a bargain with my master, the king of Assyria. I will give you 2,000 horses, <laughs> if you can put riders on them. <laughs> oh, how can you repulse one officer, the least of my master's officials, even though you are depending on Egypt for chariots and horsemen? Furthermore, I have come to attack and destroy this place without a word from the Lord. The Lord himself told me to come and march against this country and destroy it. <sighs> oh, thanks, my friend. I hope that was dramatic enough. And it came to pass, when King Hezekiah heard it, that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord. And it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians an hundred and fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpse. <laughs>